Welcome back guys and today we are back with a new video that is on a C sharp a string. So we are going to learn today about strings in C sharp. So what is a string? So a string is a sequence of uh, characters and uh, just to showcase this, so a string is a sequence of characters for example for example hello so this is actually a sequence of characters so hello is a string containing a sequence of characters so these characters are h e l l and then o so <clears throat> Majorly string in C sharp is, a str is actually a sequence of characters. So we use string keyword when defining uh, strings or when creating strings. So if we want to create a string, so we create a string. So to create a string, we use a string keyword with the name. So this is the data type, then the name of the variable, str then we assign it a value and as we had already mentioned on our previous videos string is usually indicated by double quotes so this is a macro code then we close these so <clears throat> this is our string so if we want an output of this then we can just write in console then uh, supply our variable name there so if we execute this, if we execute this, it will give us the output. And the output is macro code. So as you can see on our screen, the output is macro code. So just to zoom this. So we have created our string and we have seen the output is a macro code. So we can actually create another one. So if we add the string, string one, two, then this is programming. So if we close this, then we can we now want to the output of string two so if we run this uh, we can see the output is macro code and this is programming so we have these two strings so and the and we have also seen uh, as uh, we have also seen the outputs so something to note is uh, a string variable in c sharp is not a primitive type like uh, integers and uh, characters so instead it is an object of the string class so an important thing now to f that will follow is we need to learn something called string operations so our next lesson is on string operations so what is strings operation so string provides various methods to perform different operations on a string so c sharp actually provides different methods to perform operations on a, a string so one operation that you can be able to do is uh, get the length the length of the string of a string so how do we get a length of a string so we'll just uh, define our string string str then a macro sorry macro macro code so this is our string so an output of this will be console then we supply a variable so if we run this we will get macro code so to get the length length of this string what we'll need to do the length it will count the number of characters inside that uh, string so 
we want the length eh? so we are defining another variable that will give us the length the length will be you can even see it has already uh, given a suggestion so you just press tab and it will actually give us so the length is the string that we had already defined and then dot length so this one will give us so we can now provide an output so this is length so if we run this code so you can see macro code in length is 10 so we can see this is 10 so if we count the number of characters here it is 10 so 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we can even make this a bit can say the length is then we have that one there so it will give us like a description so you can see macro code then the length is 10 typo so let me correct this so that one will be macro code the length is 10 so it has actually given us the length so we are using the length property to calculate the total number of characters in the string and actually return it so this is the length which will actually calculate the number of characters inside this string and return it so our next section is to check on joining we join two strings so we will define them here so string string one equal to say you can say c macro macro code you can just have this as macro then we end it here so then our next string is string two with now code we also end that there so we can try to have the outputs dot right line then we supply the first string variable there then console we supply the second variable so if we run this we'll have macro and macro below so you can see we have the two strings so what you want to do is to join these two strings so we define now a third string that is now a combined string of string one and two so what we'll do is you write string dot concat so you you write concat then you join the two so we don't want this it is just string one and two so string three will be concatenation of string one and string two so to concatenate these two string we define we declare another variable string three then we assign a value of string one and two concatenated so the output of this will be console then string three so if we run we'll be able to have you can see our first string is macro second one is code then now string three is macro code so that is it so we have actually created now uh, a third string from our uh, two strings so we are using the concat method to join string one and string two and assign it to the third string so that is string three so we can also join two strings using the plus operator in c sharp so we can do this instead of using this we can just command this 
sorry can just remove these down here then we comment it then we say string one you can actually join using this then plus string two instead of using concat so if we do that we can see the output so you can see we have the same results that is macro code a macro string combined with the code we have a macro code so our, our next item is to compare so let's just get rid of this code sorry just remove it there so we want to compare two strings so we compare two strings so in c sharp we can make comparison between two strings using the equals method the equals method can check if two strings are equal or not so we can have that string one and two as macro code macro and code then uh, for us to compare so we we, we just type in bool so this one will give us so comparison will either return a true or false so bool result so our result will be either true or false and we say string one dot equals to we're checking if string one is equal to string two so and we want the result so our result we can have it as our output so this is the so our output will be the result a comparison of string one if string one is equals to string two so if we run this we can see the output is false so string one that is macro is not equal to code so if we have this as a code then we we just leave it the way it is then we run we'll see it is actually true so it has returned true so string one which is code is equals to string two which is code that is how you do comparison so we have actually created we have done comparison using an equals method to check if one string is equal to another string so another thing to mention in string is the immutability of string objects so in c -sharp, strings are immutable this means once we create a string we cannot change that string to understand it so we have this string string one we have it as macro code sorry so so here we have created a variable named string one then we have assigned it a value that is a macro code now suppose we want to change this string we now have we want to change this string here to something else so what we'll do is string one is equals to string dot concat then we have our string then we concatenate it with something else macro code is the best so we have our string which is string one we already have a value with it it has already has a value this variable now we are trying to concatenate this variable with its with another text then we see if we will have a new string so here we, we are using the concat method to add the string is the best to the previous uh, string macro code so let's see the output so if we do console dot right line string one then we run you can see macro code is the best so it has actually con concatenated those two strings 
So C sharp can take the value of the string that is a macro code and create a new string by adding uh, is the best which we have actually seen. So if we run this, you'll see we have now a new value. Uh, macro code is the best. While the initial value that we assign it was macro code. So another thing to do with string is uh, string interpolation. So let's look at the string interpolation. So in C sharp, we can use string interpolation to insert new variables inside a string. So for string interpolation, the string literally must begin with a dollar symbol or character. So, for example, we have our string here, string macro code, and uh, we want to do now string interpolation. So what we do, so string, string two will be, let me look for, yes, so that is a dollar sign, then double quotes, then we say welcome to macro code. So here we will we will put in sorry we'll put in our string one here string one then we have it there. So we use as I had indicated we use interpolation to insert to insert variables inside a string. So this is what we refer to as string interpolation. So to get our, our string two output, so we does do that, then we assign it to string two. So this one is string two. So if we execute this, you can see our output, it is welcome to macro code. So we have actually inserted a new variable inside a string. So this is a string and we have inserted a, a new a string, string one, which is macro code. So that is it guys in terms of uh, a string. So we have a lot of uh, methods uh, of a C sharp string and you can actually uh, practice. So we have a split, which you can use to split the, the strings. Yeah, we have done compare. You can do trimming in case you want to remove any leading or tailing or white spaces. And that will uh, actually help. So it is good you do. Maybe we can continue checking some of the of the of the strings. So for example, I want to have uh, let's just look for another way. So string one. I want to write these to uh, uppercase. So if I do this, I'll just uh, output string one to upper. So so we'll just do that. So this is a method. So you'll just do that string one then to upper. So if we execute, macro code will be written in capital letters. So as you can see, we have macro code in capital letters to write in small letters then you can do the same to lower so if we just execute then you will see our co our text our output is actually macro code in small letters so if we want to get the type so you get the the, the type the data type of a string so what you do is at the string we just say get type so if we do that then we say run then the type is actually a string so you can see here is a system dot a string so that is the uh, type of the string so if we want to check uh, if it is normalized then we can do is normalized then if we run that you see it is true so that is some of the methods so we can also return the last the, the a specific uh item 
or a specific value within the string. So for example, if I just want to get uh, um, a certain character, you can actually return a certain character from the string. So if I want to get like uh, the letter E from the string, I can just use last index of, then I supply my string E. So this one, if I run, you can see it will actually return the index position for that specific uh, letter. So if you, as we had already seen on our previous section, to get the length of the string, all of this string was coming to, it was returning 10. So we are getting number nine. So if this is the index, the last index position of a specific, a letter. So assuming we want to replace to replace a letter E with a certain uh, value. So what how will we do? So you get the string, then we use a replace. So a replace we supply it. We get the new value that the value that we want to replace E, and we supply it with the our new value which is i so if we do that this one expects another so if we execute this you see our output it will be macro code so we have replaced e with i so that is how you do a replacement of a string so we can also check whether the first character of a string is actually so uh, just to mention we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of uh, inbuilt uh, methods for strings that you can actually go forward and check so another one that had indicated was a trim this will actually remove all the trailing uh, spaces in case you don't want any spaces in your string so if you run this you'll just have a macro code but now it doesn't have any trailing white spaces at the end of the string or even at the start of the string so that is it for for strings in case you have any comment then you can comment down below and we can uh, actually engage on our next video thank you for watching see you in our next video and remember to subscribe and share thank you